What's up? I'm Chef Patrick Stark, the executive chef at Lava Cantina. And I'm Alicia Ziegler, actress and diamondized athlete. Welcome to the Transformed Program Nutrition Guide. We all know that sticking to a nutrition plan is usually one of the most difficult parts of any transformation. So today, we're gonna give you all the knowledge, tips, and tricks you need to keep your meal prep simple, fast, and tasty. In this video, we'll be briefly breaking down macronutrients, what they are, and how they work in the body. Next, we're gonna take you to the grocery store to show you how to shop for all the foods that we're recommending. Plus, we'll show you how to navigate the store so that you can get in and out as fast as possible. So don't be a slave to the dreaded food prep Sunday. Stay with us for industry insider secrets to make your food prep simpler than you ever thought possible. So we all know what macronutrients are. Your proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Now your fats and your carbohydrates are gonna be your number one source of energy. This is great for your day-to-day -day activities as well as getting a great pump in the gym. <laughs> well, proteins are the building blocks for all cells in the human body. They're what your body uses to help you build and repair muscle. For more detailed information, look at the page below. But for now, let's head to the grocery store. Here we are inside the grocery store, but before you actually start shopping, there's some things you're gonna to wanna to think about. You know, the whole key to getting into a grocery store is having a solid plan. So you always wanna start with a shopping list. Today we're gonna to be using a phone, and we like to get in and out as fast as possible. So let's start with what? Produce. Section number one. Let's go. So in this transformation program, you're gonna find most of your carbohydrates are gonna come from fruits and vegetables. Sweet potatoes, one of your best carbohydrates. Now they come in a variety of different colors, different sizes. Now you don't wanna get caught up in that because they all have about the same nutritional value. Now stick out your fist. This is about the perfect portion size that you need for your body. So when I go and I shop for four days worth of my sweet potatoes, I find that I try to get four of them the size of my fist. If you find that they're too big, just cut them in half and make it simple on yourself. Another thing that you're gonna find here are dark leafy green vegetables, which offer a lot of nutrients, vitamins, minerals. You're gonna to wanna to stock up on a lot of vegetables because it offers a lot of fiber, which keeps you satiated and full during your transformation. And regular. Some of my favorites are broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, spinach, asparagus. Am I missing anything? I'm a big fan of seasonal. If you guys get tired of eating a lot of those deep greens, see what's on special. It's gonna save you money, and it's also gonna change up your diet a little bit. Another one of the favorites that you're gonna love and find here are avocados. I know that they're sometimes hard to pick out, but the chef is gonna tell us, how do we get the good ones? You know, you always see people around the avocado bin tapping it, <laughs> squeezing it, sniffing it, and you're like, what are they doing? Um, the best way to tell the, the ripeness of an avocado is their little stem on top. Just go ahead, flip it off. If you notice on this one, it's got kind of a yellow, almost to a brown hue. Now, if it's deep dark green, it means it's not ripe. If it's yellowish turning brown, it means it is ripe. And if it's dark brown in the center, it means it's overripe and it's probably bad. So this is important when you try to stage out to get the best quality of your avocado, uh, to consume throughout your week if you're shopping for four days. Now we also have our fruits. Some of my favorites are apples and berries. I use these as my fitness candy. When I have a sweet tooth, I go for a little bit of fruit. And fruits are important because when you're going through a transformation or you're working out or you're under a lot of stress, you actually create a little bit of oxidative stress in the body. A little bit is okay. A lot, maybe not so much because it will interrupt or hinder your recovery process and it can affect your immune system. So in order to keep yourself boosted, going, energized and healthy, you'll want to incorporate a little bit of fruit. So we're wrapping it up here in the produce section and the last thing we're going to talk about is meal enhancers. Now what's great about meal enhancers is it's going to add a ton of flavor to your food without adding calories. Being a classically trained chef, the first thing they tell you in cooking school is to add salt and add butter. We're not gonna do that here today. So the best things that you can use to really boost that flavor is fresh herbs like this, citrus like your lemon and lime. If you don't have that, they also make these convenient little bottles. You can even keep them in your purse like she does. Yep. And as well as, when I cook, I like to use garlic and shallots. Shallot is like a really condensed, steroided out little onion with tons of flavor. <laughs> If you're bad with your knife and you don't have the time to mince it, they also have it prepared. So that wraps it up here 
Where are we going next? Section two, meat. Let's go. So we're in the meat section, and the one thing you always want to remember is finding the leanest cuts. For example, one of my favorites is the turkey breast, the 99% fat-free. It's 120 calories for about four ounces, and it yields 26 grams of protein. So for someone about my size, this would yield four servings. Wowzers. And another lean protein option I like is chicken breast. Ooh, and it's hand trimmed, which means it's gonna be leaner. Uh, there's not gonna be any skin on it, which is gonna save time when you have to prep it. Up next, for all you guys that like pumping the iron, this is gonna be a great source of iron. This is your red meat. Keyword, lean. This is 7% fat, and it's gonna give you a better yield when you cook it. When you get an 80-20, that 20% is all fat. It's gonna cook out, and you're gonna have a little puny burger. Another protein source that you can use is fish. And. There's two types right now. You can get farm-raised or you can get wild. Wild's gonna be a bit healthier. A lot of the farm-raised that you hear about, the way it's cultivated is a little bit more dirty. Um, right here is tilapia. It's probably the most common. I prefer, if you do have the money, pollock, salmon, halibut, trout. trout. Um, so there's a lot of great options. Now, my favorite special lean meat is going to be buffalo. It's higher in protein, it's gonna be leaner, and then there also are some other substitutes that aren't meat-oriented for your proteins, like... Right, like a tofu or an edamame. Exactly. So where are we going next? Dairy and eggs. Let's go. Section three. Cheers. We're in the dairy and egg section, which is another great area where we can get lots of protein. For example, Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt's great because it's really, really low in sugar, high in protein, and the reason it's more beneficial than other yogurts is because most of the other yogurts are flavored with a lot of high fructose corn syrup, whereas this one is not. So in order to make it sweet, I suggest adding cinnamon, stevia, or maybe even some of the berries you picked up at produce. Now there's always a little bit of juice on top of that. Do you want to drain that off generally? or Absolutely not. Those are your probiotics. What you want to do is stir it into the yogurt and then serve yourself. Did not know. That's where all the benefits are. Now we've got eggs. There's many different kinds. Obviously, we like the cage-free. The chickens are happier. They taste better. One egg is about 70 calories. So you'll gauge based on your fat loss what you need. Sometimes having the yolk is absolutely beneficial because it has a lot of nutrients in it Thanks. and good fat. Let's talk about cheese. Everybody loves cheese. You love it on pizza, you love it all over the place. We're gonna go with something that's a part skin, which is gonna be less in fat. And as a chef, my personal favorite is a goat cheese. It's gonna be even creamier, it's gonna have more nutrients, and it's gonna be less in fat as well. So where are we off to next? Packaged and canned goods. Let's go. So we're in the canned and packaged section. And here, we're gonna find some things that are intricate to your transformation diet. Hence, we have some fats, we have some proteins, and we have some carbohydrates. We're gonna start off first with your nut butters. Which are really, really important fats. When choosing a nut butter, you're gonna to wanna to find one that's low sodium, and it shouldn't contain a lot of ingredients. So it shouldn't have added cane sugars in it and palm fruit oils and stuff like that. It should basically be the nut itself, whether you choose almond butter or peanuts, and then maybe a little sea salt. There's also cashew butter if you're interested or sunflower seed butter too. Next up, we've got some albacore tuna. Yeah, looking for a solid white albacore tuna is going to be your healthier option. Um, I wanna let you know that one can is actually a serving size. Even though the can may say two, you can have the whole can. And they fit conveniently in your purse or your fanny pack. <laughs> up next, we've got some black beans. Right, and this would also be considered a a protein, but mostly a carbohydrate source. So you can have this earlier in your day. It's got a ton of fiber to keep you fuller longer. And let's say maybe you're a vegetarian or a vegan and you wanted to have an easy on the go food, you could compare it with something like a brown rice or maybe a quinoa for a complete protein. And another great option for a rice is a jasmine rice because it offers a lot of iron. And last but not least, 
we've got one of my favorites, the quick oats. So what's good about this, and again, like your brown rice, it's gonna keep you fuller, it's gonna give you energy. I particularly like to have them for breakfast, even a snack mid-afternoon. So you're not gonna wanna go and get the kind that are pre-packaged that are like maple syrups and apple cinnamons and all of that because you can add your natural version to your own oatmeal if you want. And these things are gonna help you with your transformation. So that's gonna wrap it up here in the packaged and canned section. Next, we are going to head over to seasoning and sauces. See you there. Here's what I found. With any transformation, you wanna make the food that you're eating taste good so that you can stick to the plan and enjoy yourself. The best way to do that is with seasonings and a little sauces. And what a lot of people don't realize is that they can add a lot of calories and a lot of sodium into their transformation diet if they're not aware of what they're putting on to make their food taste good. So to start off, we're looking at some oils. We've got an extra virgin olive oil, a regular olive oil. For you guys at home that don't know, an extra virgin olive oil is gonna have a really low smoke point. That means that it's not really good to heat or cook with, it's really only good for finishing, like salads, bruschettas, anything like that that's cold. Coconut oil, another great oil. This is great to substitute for butter. You can put it on toast in the morning. It has a really good high smoking point if you do decide to cook with it, so it's very universal. It's also antimicrobial, so it's very, very good for colon health and your digestive system, which is really important when you're making transitions to your diet. Also, um, I like to blend it in my coffee every once in a while and add a little cinnamon for creaminess in case I don't have any creamer on hand. Did not know. Well, for seasonings, I'm pretty boring and I only use sea salt, <laughs> but I know that Mrs. Dashes created things like an original blend and a garlic and herb that I've used before on like my turkey burgers, things like that. And they don't have any sodium in them, which is great because if you get bored of one, they have a million flavors to choose from. Gives you that great deep flavor without that salt. So I always prefer the Holy Stark Trinity. And that is a blend of smoked paprika, which if you really like that smoky flavor, it's gonna give any of your proteins a nice little hint of smoke. Garlic powder, can't go wrong, it's got no salt. And the last one is onion powder. If you don't wanna mince your garlic or mince your onions, it's a great way to get that boost of flavor into whatever you're cooking. Another good one is curry, which has turmeric in it, which is really, really great for your immune system. Is it also anti-inflammatory too? Absolutely. Ooh, double duty. And one of my absolute favorite all time is cinnamon. I put it on everything from my turkey to my broccoli to my yogurt. It balances blood sugar, it helps your cholesterol. It's a very, very potent antioxidant. It's got fiber, it's got manganese, copper, iron, you name it. This is a good, good go-to. That's what she said. <laughs> and if you wanna spice your life up a little bit with your food, I always like hot sauce. It's gonna give you a little bit of heat. The ingredients that it's blended with, with the vinegars, it definitely hits a different part of your palate that gives the old boring run of the mill protein a nice little kick. And for our next section, we're headed to beverages. Beverages, very important part of the transformation diet. I know myself, when I cut out all of my sugary sodas, I noticed a dramatic change in my body, how I felt, and these are gonna be some great tricks for you to be able to stay on that diet without falling into the pitfalls of stuff that's around you 24 seven. Absolutely, and teas are one of the best ways to curb any sweet tooth because they come in such a variety of flavors. I also like them at night. If I'm about to go to bed or I want to detox or cleanse or anything like that, I'll do a stress relief tea or maybe a chamomile, something like that. But let's say that I'm having a sweet tooth and I want to add a little sweetener to it. I would add stevia as my sweetener of choice. Zero calories too, by the way. And also has a little bit of fiber. Another great thing is caffeine or coffee before you go to the gym. Do you drink coffee before you go to the gym? Yes. <laughs> What's also a great fact about coffee is that it helps increase your resting metabolic rate. Which means that you're basically burning calories at rest. Which I need that. And now moving on to our last section, frozen foods. You might be wondering that if we were already in the fresh produce section, why are we in the frozen produce section? There's a ton of benefits with frozen fruits and vegetables. First off, these guys' shelf life, they'll last forever as long as they stay in your freezer. Two, the preparation. 
Just take this whole bag, throw it in your microwave, look at directions, five minutes usual, you've got a hot, ready to go vegetable or fruit. Three, these guys are harvested, fruit or vegetable, in their prime ripeness, which means you're gonna get the most nutrients out of each serving that you're ingesting. Well, let's talk fruit. And these ones, you can find that they say no sugar added. That's what you're looking for when you're going to the frozen section, making sure that there's no additives of anything that you don't need. Another great thing about this is you can buy it in bulk if it's on sale, and then just store it in your freezer. Great for pancakes, smoothies, desserts, sky's the limit. That Greek yogurt I told you about. Boom. <laughs> So that's gonna wrap it up here at the grocery store. We're gonna hit the checkout and then go back to the house to do some meal prep. Fast, simple, and easy. Okay, so we're back from the store and we're ready for meal prep. Now we're gonna meal prep for only four days. And the reason why we're doing that is because we wanna keep the integrity of our proteins as well as our vegetables. It's time to get down and get dirty.